Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man, Tim Swain. As you can see, I am very comfortable. Why? Because I'm at my house and I wanna make this video for you. You've moved to Ghana, you wanna get start cooking, but you don't know how to do that. So what I want to do in this video is show you exactly what you need to get started cooking in Ghana. So welcome back. As I said, hey, it's your man, Tim Swain. And in this video, what I'm going to do is basically show you how to get set up. Where do you buy your gas cylinder? What type of accessories do you need to make sure that it works? How do you go about actually getting it filled when it's empty? And I want to give you all of those details today. But the first thing we have to do is head on back to where my gas cylinder is. So this is where I have my gas cylinder and actually I have two of them. So I'm gonna bring the other one from outside to do a tutorial for you because this one is currently in use and we definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to remove the main line from the propane tank while it's being used. You don't wanna do that. So let me grab my other tank so I can show you exactly what you need to know. Okay, cool. So, you just moved into your new place. As you can see, I'm sweating, but it's all good because I'm hot out here. You just moved into your new place or maybe you're moving into a new place. And in Ghana, about 99% of the time, the way that you're gonna find people cook is through propane or gas. Most places don't have electricity, which I found out is a good thing, simply because the lights go off so much, you don't need an electric grill. But most places have gas grills. And so the first thing that I recommend you do is buy two of these, what they call gas cylinders. This is a big one, this is a small one. Why two of them? Because you don't want to have only one gas cylinder, and let's say you're cooking on a Friday night at 11 p.m. and then you find out all of your gas is gone. Well, guess what? The next day, you'll have to wait to actually go and fill this tank up. Now, these usually cost, it depends on where you buy them from, but these tanks, the bigger one usually would cost something like, I think it was like 100, 150 Ghana CDs or something like that. And the smaller one was around maybe 85 Ghana. Don't quote me on those prices. I haven't bought them in a long time. But we have two, one the main one, and then one is the reserve. We keep ours locked up only because somebody advised us to do that. But in my area, we don't really have any problems with uh, people stealing like that, but we keep it locked up just in case. So where do you buy this from? You can buy these almost anywhere. What I recommend is buying them from a store that you feel comfortable at. You can check out my other video on places to shop in Ghana. And um, you can buy your gas cylinder from that place. You can also buy these from places like Medina, other places that sell them. The only thing I would tell you to be careful of is, as you can see, my gas cylinder is a little bit old. It's starting to rust. And some of these may eventually have small holes in them. You don't want to buy a cylinder from someone that you don't know and you don't trust because what they'll do is simply clean it up real good, paint over it, make you think it's new. You don't want that. You want a brand new one because you definitely do not want any leaks in your gas. So you got your gas cylinder. What else do you need? Well, you need the, this is a regulator and there's a couple different kinds of these. Um, as you can see on my thing here, right? This basically allows gas to flow in and out of your house. And so the way you will put this on is simply like this. So if I was gonna use this, I'm not, but I'll take this cap off right here. I'll simply take this, place it right on, and there's a knob here for on and off. Basically, that allows your gas to flow on, allows your gas to flow off. This is also something that you use. This is simply, uh, we simply have this. It's a special type of, I don't know what you call it, but a, a hose. I got hose. In different area codes, that is. <laughs> That's a joke. 
that's a joke. Don't, don't get mad in the comment section, all right? So this right here will go to this. It fits on just like that. And then you probably can't see it, but there's a little butterfly clip that's in here and you're gonna put it right there to tighten it up. That's gonna go from here to your gas cylinder. And as you can see, my line goes straight into my kitchen where we cook at. That's really the main thing. And so I'm gonna be honest with you, the first time I used this, I was scared that when I turned on my gas on the stove, the whole house was gonna explode because I'm not used to having a propane tank like this. You know, if you're watching this from the States or some other place, you know, we got gas lines built in. So you never have to worry about this kind of stuff. So that's your gas tank. These are your accessories minus the clips that's right down there. And total, all of this would probably cost you maybe like, let's say 200 CDs or something like that. Um, if you wanted to buy both tanks, it's probably be around maybe 250 CDs, 245 CDs. Don't quote me on that. I think that's about an average price for all of this stuff. And the last thing is, obviously, if you have a propane tank, you have to get your propane. So that's a very quick tutorial on how to get yourself set up with cooking in Ghana. I hope it was a helpful video. As always, if you like the content, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.